today we're going to be taking a look at some armor. Now there's a bunch of cool armor pieces to choose from, and we're going to start at the lightest one. This is the Escape from Tarkov armor mod. And it all starts with the war tech. Now if you guys want to know what that weird thing at the intro was, well, I had a piece of armor on, and when you put a new one on, it drops the one you had. Now unfortunately, as you probably saw there, we do not get worldview models, which really does suck, so, you know, no one else can really see the armor, sadly. I was really hoping that maybe in the settings we could find it, but, well, there's only really options here for some utility stuff, and, well, the custom vest, which we will get to very soon. The first things first, the Wartech is going to protect you from 25% of damage. Now I do have the bracelet HUD here, which is going to help us kind of keep an eye on what our health value is and theoretically we should be blocking about 25 percent of the damage now i'm no expert at well health i don't know what that even meant but <laughs> it looks like we are living so without the armor we'd be at about like 32 ish health so definitely nice this is a very healthy amount see what i did there <laughs> now the good thing is is that this particular armor has no effect on your mobility so that means when you're rooting to and around to kill the old combine you don't gotta worry too much about well slowing down you're also gonna notice if i shut up for a second you get this really cool equipment sound and it sounds absolutely amazing now if you want you can go into the settings to check the vest durability because yes these vests do have durability. You can also unequip the vest, which is pretty cool. Now, we do have one big issue. We got nothing to protect my big charred noggin. Thankfully, we have the Ops Core Fast MT. Putting this on, now we have some proper head protection. This is going to protect you from not only headshots, but it's going to give you an additional 10% damage reduction. That means that even when you got a bunch of combine shooting at you, I think we're going to be just fine. As you can see, we're sitting at about 30 health, definitely pretty critical, and obviously without that, well, total 30% protection, well, we would be dead as hell. Next up, we have the 6B23. Now, this is going to give you 50% damage reduction. However, you're going to notice that it's also going to slightly decrease your mobility, which means that as we move around, well, it feels like I may have put on a few pounds. But I think we can all agree that 50% damage reduction is pretty damn solid. I mean, we would be dead normally by now, but we are still definitely kicking it. Honestly, this kind of feels a little bit OP. We got 30 health. I'm still feeling pretty fresh. Let's go ahead and take out this last combine unit. Next up, we have the 6B436A. Whoa, that's a bit of a mouthful. Going ahead and putting on the vest. We are going to move significantly slower. We are very encumbered, as you can see. And, uh, yeah, this is going to give us 75% damage reduction. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that is a lot of damage reduction. In fact, I'm feeling like we can even take on these hunters here. Maybe I got a bit overzealous. But hey, that's perfect, because now I can show off the other feature. You do drop your armor on death. Now, unfortunately, I did forget one. We have the pack vest. This is meant specifically for, well, stab wounds. Which means this is actually the smallest armor. And I definitely don't want to use this against a hunter. But against melee targets, it is going to be pretty damn formidable. As you can see, we are taking pretty minuscule damage, even though they're smacking the heck out of me. Now, the unfortunate thing is, is that, well, when it comes to bullets, you're only going to get about 10% reduction, which is not all that great. Summoning a combine soldier, we can see that, uh, we're not going to notice a whole lot of difference. The other unfortunate thing is that it's going to break faster. Now, again, to check the durability, simply click check. We lost about a third or so of our armor, which is not fantastic. I mean, that was one combine soldier. You can imagine if you're in a all-out warfare that's gonna break pretty quick but now we get to the last one we have the custom now just like I said previously you can completely adjust how this one works you can make the damage reduction all the way you can make this the most busted armor you've ever seen in your life and let's go ahead and put it to the test so oh that's uh wow we're dying fast oh wh why am I jumping so high <laughs> okay I forgot to mention there is a jump modifier to well adjust your jump power so Imagine putting on armor and jumping even higher than you did without it. Now, you can also adjust the walk speed, so, uh, yeah, we're zooming. All right, I gotta admit, this is pretty much the main reason I wanted to do a video on this, because, uh, this is really fun. You can just be like Sonic the Hedgehog running around, and the cool thing is, is you can also make it to where you also jump really high. 
Now it does look like every time you change a value, you do have to respawn it in, but thankfully we can just simply unequip the vest, spawn the new one in, and Bob's your uncle. So as you can see, um, yeah, we can't even jump now. Cranking everything to the other way though, and now we are like on the moon. That is pretty cool. Now just be weary that you will take fall damage every time. Mix this with the super speed and I'm feeling like Jack Carver from the Far Cry series on Xbox. If any of you guys remember that game franchise, ho, oh, you had an amazing childhood. So there you guys have it. Some really cool stuff. The custom vest is really awesome. You can really make it your own. As always, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Links will be in the description. If you want to leave a like or subscribe, you totally can. Use code NECROS94 to save 20% off your next G Fuel order. I'll see you guys in the next video, and until next time, farewell.